Good morning, everybody. It's a Thursday morning. We're going to get some concrete poured today. We haven't poured any this week. It's been raining every single day. They even call for showers today. But we're going to take a little bit of a chance. All right, we'll get them backed up here. One truck today. This one's not very big. All right, that's it. They hadn't done put the well in the way, we could have got them all the way back to here, but no, they had to go dig the well before we do the floor, so I don't know. Hello, boys! Let me get the other chute? We'll get the longer chute, because the access isn't very good, but that's why we got them. Help make our jobs a little bit easier. One big happy family. You ready? Yep. Watch your head. You want a what? Oh, now here we go. Good. It's a little bit low behind you, Darren. A little bit low behind you. Not bad there. Here we go. Here we go. Really busy man on Tuesday. <laughs> now we got a new screed we're using today from Tomahawk. They're David, Tomahawk's right new there? battery operated vibrating screen so they sent us that they want us to try it and get a, give us their opinion on it so that's what we're going to do today so this one's got a 10 foot board on it we, they gave us a 10 and a 14 we thought we'd just try the 10 today <laughs> Darren's adjusting the handles right now All right, so we're trying Tomahawk's new battery operated screed. They got their own battery for this. Um, rechargeable, obviously. And then they got their own blades. We got a 10 foot blade on today. They, they sent us a 14 foot blade too. So we're just trying this out, see how it works. They wanted us to give us their opi our opinion on it, using this. First floor we tried with it. So that's what we're going to do here after we get done. We'll talk about it a little bit. And the differences between some of the other ones we've used. 
So it's got a little adjustment. You can adjust the handles to whatever you want, depending on how tall you are. The Allen wrench is right, comes right with the screed itself. So it's just a quick adjustment. You can adjust the little handles on the knobs a little bit. And then the handles adjust, I believe they adjust in and out too for length. All right, let's see how the second bay goes. First bay looks good. Bull float will really tell you. The bull float will tell you just how level things get. You know, you run over with the bull float and there's no gaps or pumps under the edges and you can tell it's getting it flat. Pretty flat under there. Bring it, yeah, I'd bring it right out. I'll get another handle. It's gotten set up a little bit. Yeah, I'll get it, yeah. Probably gonna need just a tiny little bit when we get going here. Yeah. What do you think? Almost looks like the handles are high. It, it's just these need to we need to be able to tighten them so they they're down. So yeah. We don't have to lift up. Right. Because it, it looks they, like they keep they keep lifting on me. Yeah. It's almost like you go straight down. But I'll tell you. Right. Because then when you rotate. That's okay. what the other guy when you see him in the when pictures. You see him in the picture, you're almost they're straight up and down. Yeah. Like, wow. so, Concrete that's trying though, it's, not, it's buzzing right through it. The stuff, yeah. Yeah. Just the whole phone working like that, all right? Not too bad, not too bad. Okay. Want to try it?
<laughs> Which one's more sensitive? Like, I don't know, Brian's pretty sensitive. So it seems to be going okay. It's, it's, it's a little heavier than what we're used to for a lot of the ones, some of the other ones that we've used. Might have something to do with the, just the weight of the battery itself and then the whole unit is like, it seems like it's like more metal or steel than aluminum. So that might add a little bit to the weight, but it's not like crazy. It's not much different than some of the other ones. Going pretty good so far. Yeah, it's going okay. Smooth sailing. To me, it just the handles look long right there. It's got to figure out a way if we can adjust them handles down a little bit, so your arms aren't kind of tucked up under you. That would be a little uncomfortable if you're doing a lot of square footage. But we'll get it figured out. You know, it's only our first time, so <clears throat> it seems to run nice and smooth though. Gives the surface a nice smooth finish, vibrated finish. Easy to both float. All in all, I'd say it goes goes really good. Putting those over there, so maybe if I could set you over just a little bit, we could at least get these two. Okay, we gotta keep an eye on that too. I think that's gonna give him enough room. Get them things in there. Leave it up to you. Good job, Brian. Need a sawzall? Yeah. Another one. Yeah, about five feet. Another one. Doing a good job, Brian. Thank you. You see it yet? See it. Yeah, another one. Couple feet. I gotta take this off. Just leave it. Leave that in for a sec. I'm gonna just take this off. Probably won't need your shoe for the next one. All right. Well, that went pretty good. So 32-24 walkout basement. Got that in. Use the new Tomahawk vibrating battery screed. That that worked good. We're just going to get these two sonar tubes over here that we can reach. A couple more over here that we can't reach because they drilled that well up there, if you remember earlier in the video. But we'll at least get these two, and they're going to have to figure out on their own how they're going to pour those other ones. I don't think we can reach them. We can take a look, but I don't think so. No. Nope. You have all the concrete you want, Mr. Dad. Yeah, I think we do, buddy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.